New at 5.30, a stinky situation for a Gastonia organization. A ministry saying that it's trying to serve those who need it most, but that job getting harder with growing sewage problems behind the church. As WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson explains, the city of Gastonia says the leak isn't coming from its lines, but the ministry says it doesn't have the money to fix this. Conditions definitely not great here. Take a look at the mush and brown water on the property. The city of Gastonia says it's not their line, but the pastor here says he doesn't necessarily believe that. Faith, Hope and Love Ministry serves those who are homeless, but some say the way they operate isn't always ideal. We owe our homeless better than what they're getting. Pastor Colbert does what he can with what he has to help those on the streets. Right now, some people are living on the church's property, but the conditions are becoming unlivable. According to the city of Gastonia, the sewer line at the property has been inspected and cleared. They have determined there is no leakage from a city owned line. And nobody wants to help and I don't get that. We're doing our part, but we need help. Some of the biggest challenges a homeless person has. Scotty Johnson is the program director for the ministry. He shows us how this is impacting the people who live here. It'd be raining, it's all over and it's terrible <laughs> and it smells. Whitney Brooks has made this her home for the last five months. Tiger, Tiger. She says it's the only spot in the city that works for her. If we do go, if we go somewhere, then we have to move. Like this is about the only spot in Gastonia that I know of now. And I've been in and out for 12 years and it's, it's getting worse and worse and worse. They are doing what they can, but there's only so many of them. And the city tells me they're unsure of what is causing the standing water on the property. Now, the pastor here tells me that once this is cleaned up, they hope to open 200 tiny homes, as well as a program to help people get off the streets. But of course, that takes money. If you would like to help this ministry, we're going to put information on our WCNC mobile app. Reporting in Gastonia for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.